take a moment to observe as I pose this character. And I'm done. See, in most applications, deploying a library of poses in this fashion is something that normally involves digging through very long lists and wading through file windows. To put it concisely, the tools shown here are specifically designed to help you create and deploy poses rapidly in a context-sensitive manner. Know that these specific tools, while bundled with the commercial RR toolset, require no purchase or activation to use so anyone can download them. Allow me to show you how these new posing tools work. I'll demonstrate using the standard Genoma 2 biped rig. Clicking Open Pose Folder, we'll see that it's empty save for the five plugin files we see here. Poses are always saved in the same directory that the plugins are located in. In order to use Pose Apply, we need poses, so let's create a few for the Genoma 2 rig's left hand. I'll select the hand's FK controller and hit Pose Setup. This places a red marker in the scene indicating that this is the item that will trigger poses when the Pose Apply button is pressed. Next, all the desired items that we would like to be saved into a pose file need to be selected. So I'll go ahead and select all of the green finger controllers. Say we want to save this rested open hand pose. Hit the Pose Setup button and we're asked to give the pose a name. I'll name it Open and hit OK. Looking into the pose folder, observe that the pose file includes the name of the original item and the name that was given to it. Let's create two more hand poses, one being a closed fist and the other being a finger pointing. We can now either delete the red marker or press Pose Setup Reset to exit setup mode for this item. When you select this null and hit Pose Apply a few times, it will cycle through the poses that you've saved. In most cases, you're going to want these poses on the opposite side of your character, which is what the Pose Mirror function is for. It's nothing fancy, you just have your original text on the left and the text that you would like to replace it with on the right. Just know that this is case sensitive. The Genoma 2 rig uses the words left and right in its naming convention, so we can actually leave this at its default and press OK. After doing that, the opposite side item will be selected, and Pose Apply will operate exactly as it did on the left hand. And that's all there is to it. Of course, the usage applications of these plugins are not limited to body motions of character rigs. You can automate complete facial setups, apply this to light rigs, or even use chains of poses as part of an animation process. I've included a link to these plugins with this video. Check the description for details.